Not sure how to edit your 360 photos or what program to use? Well, today I'm going to show you how to edit 360 photos in Luminar 4.2. Stick around. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. If you want to know what equipment I use to take these photos with, it'll all be down in the show notes because I want to get right into the content today. Now, when I did this, I wasn't even sure if I could edit 360 photos in Luminar 4.2. So I downloaded them to my computer, opened the file uh, folder in here and brought them in. And this is kind of how you're going to do it. It's very, very almost identical to the way you would do a regular photo. Um, even when you export it, I just export it the same way. And when I uploaded it to uh, either Matterport or whatever 360 software hosting place you're going to use to host your images to build your your walkthrough, it's going to work perfect. So really, it's just going to be, you know, uh, kicking up the contrast, bringing down the highlights, you know, my typical bringing up the shadows. The one thing I should have done is gotten into the camera system a little bit more before I started taking the photos, which I didn't. Uh, go into the AI Enhance, boost that up a little bit, go down to Denutzy Details, and then kick up the sharpness. And that's pretty much it. If you like the way that this has come out, you can save it as a new look, or you can use one of the presets, you know, if you want to, you know, give it a try with one of the presets and see how it comes out. You know, there's a bunch of different ones on there. It gives you a complete different feel of the room. And then when you go to export it so you want to export that image i didn't change anything i left all of the settings exactly as they are and exported it to my computer so once you export it you're going to go to wherever you're going to have it here's a, a, a free account i have at astro room and i'm just uh, label this one youtube test i think you just click on that little panoramic view you go to wherever your photos are scroll down so let's see here if i can find uh here we'll do this one here here's one that i did yesterday same same house hit upload nothing like a little two roads while doing some videos editing on a saturday afternoon so we don't need that this is gonna see if you want the dollhouse and stuff like that but here you go here's the image i mean this wasn't anything like this when i first took it these windows were a little more blown out so I was able to really dial in some things. As you can see here, I was just testing it. I had my tripod kind of set up as a monopod. Didn't work really well. You need a monopod with kind of like three legs at the bottom to hold it to do it. But that's it. And then I just upload them to this and do my floor plan. So like I said, it was super easy to, to get this done. And um, yeah, I was really surprised. I didn't think I could do this with uh, Luminar 4.2 when I first got the 360 camera. I started looking, you know, Googling, you know, how to edit 360 photos. And there wasn't a lot of information out there. A lot of it was, you know, people trying to sell you programs. But if you are a Luminar user and you have 4.2, you can do it in this version. I'm not sure if you can do it in the other ones, but give it a try. All right, so that's it. It is pretty simple to do. Hopefully you learned something from it. If you have, please consider liking, share this with somebody you know. And before you go check this out, I am so excited. A box came today and our new publication, Man That Ring Light is Bright, but just came out from my team. We have the American Lifestyle Magazine. So I would love to send this out to somebody that watches this channel. So if you would, comment down below and the first person that does, I'll send you out a copy of this. And if you want, you can hang it on your wall or you can throw it out. But I'm just super excited to have it. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.